Hey guys. Welcome to Studio Assembly where I show you how to assemble your baby parts so you don't have to look at the manual. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble the Safety First uh, Cube Compact Stroller. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell button so you get notified. Okay, now into the video. This is the layout of the items. As you can see, we have an extensive list. Make sure you pay attention because I'm only going over it once. So first is the stroller. Second is the bumper. I hope you got that. The first step is you take this here and you open up a can of beer or drink of your choice, preferably alcoholic, minus a blueberry cider and you take a nice long sip. Then, to open up the stroller, you have to unlatch this lock here, and then pull up on the handle, another way up until the stroller opens up completely and you hear click. To adjust the footrest, you just press on the levers that are under here and then pull the footrest down. And then to bring it back up, you just press on the levers and pull the footrest back up. Put the bumper on the stroller, the grooves on the bumper have to face up. I did this first with them facing down and that was a mess, so learn from my mistakes. So line them up with the slots on the sides of the stroller here and then push the bumper all the way in until it locks in place. Using the brakes is pretty simple. To turn the brakes on, you press down on the brake lever and voila, it doesn't move. Crazy invention, huh? But don't worry, it won't stay that way. To turn it off, simply pull up on the brake lever and it will move once again. Magic! To unlock the swivel wheels, you just press down on the levers that are on the wheels. This way you'll have better directional control. You can adjust the seat height to whatever position you'd like. It can be down like this or all the way up. To do so, you just press on the clamp lever and pull on the string until it's gathered all the way up. And then to bring it back down, you press on the clamp lever and pull it all the way down. Make sure you don't do this with the baby inside the stroller. At least that's what the manual says, but who reads those things anyway? To adjust the straps, you take a chubby baby and you restrain him to the stroller. Then at this point, you fasten all the buckles on. And to tighten the straps, you have to move this buckle up and then pull on the strap like so, and then pull it through the knuckle. Pull the extra slack through the knuckle. And you do that with all of the straps until you're satisfied. You move the knuckle, and then you pull on the slack. And then pull it through the knuckle.
and then so the extra slack isn't just hanging out like that, you can move the knuckle up to the end of the slack so that it's a lot neater and nicer. To adjust the height of the shoulder straps, you have to hold the strap through the knuckle here and then pull it through the buckle. You have to press on this button to make space for the strap to go through. While pressing on that button, you pull on the strap for it to go through. Once you've disconnected the waist strap from the shoulder strap, you can take the shoulder pad off and then slip the shoulder strap through these loops, through the first loop or the second loop, depending on how tall your baby is now. And then put the shoulder pad back on. And now slip the waist strap back through the buckle and then back through the knuckle. Now I did have to figure out how to do this on my own because the manual printed the wrong model in, these, in this step. So I would really appreciate it if you gave this video a like and if you subscribed to help me out. To fold the stroller, you slide the top button to the left and press on the bottom button and then pull down on the handle until it all collapses down and then walk away. There you have it, so that's how you assemble the Safety First Cube Compact Stroller. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell button so you get notified for the next video. As always, let me know in the comment section below what other baby products you would like for me to assemble next. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Cheers.